Hello and welcome back. One thing we didn't talk about last time, and I'm really annoyed we didn't talk about it, is expertise points. Now, I get that, if I'm honest, don't look at anything you see around you. <laughs> there's, there's things I've been doing. I get it's going to tell us about it here, but I think realistically... Uh, uh, realistically, I can guess how you get expertise points. We have three, and we're level 15. I'm gonna imagine they come from every five levels you get one. One thing you can get is fortunate. Gain passive fortune levels that are applied whenever you break, whenever you use a fortune tool to break blocks. So we can get plus two to fortune for two of our points. So we're gonna do that now. And what better way to test <laughs> Fortune 5 than to destroy what is a mammoth worth of stuff. Um, loads of chromatic iron, because we need a lot of that as well. And I thought this would be a very fun way to do this. So if I get the pick out that's Fortune. So this is Fortune 3. Plus 2 will be Fortune 5. And, if we are smart, we could come in here and do what I said I'd do in the last episode, which we didn't, and put maybe two points into Vein Miner. So now we can mine 16 blocks at a time. Let's chuck this away, all of, well, we'll keep the food on us, but we'll chuck the rest of this away. And as far as I'm aware, it's automatically equipped, unlike what we used to have to do, so we can just get breaking. So without further ado, let's start a, a speedy little montage again of me breaking down all of this. everything and I think I've picked up everything so let's have a look at this Ooh, well one thing we needed a lot of was chromatic iron and boy do we so much of it okay so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven and a half stacks of chromatic iron <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. And we've got a lot of smelting to do. So, I'm gonna probably cut here and get all of this smelted down, and then we'll be right back. And we're back! So, after mining all of this with fortune, which I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin any of this movie magic here, but it was a couple of days ago. Um <laughs> after doing all of that, we have plenty of stuff. It's all smelted down now, so if we look up, uh, like, ingot, we've got so much stuff. Wait, iron. Oh, I was like, do we have any iron? Um, so we've got all of that. This is getting a little bit annoying. Um, so we've got all of that done. Uh, we were doing quests last time, which, if I look... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. So in the shop the other day, uh, sometime after the recording, after the smelting and stuff, I saw that there was an unidentified relic for sale. I didn't record it, I forgot to. But, we now have a water element. Uh, oh, and I can show this off now, which I didn't show off. Uh, I've gone nuts. Okay, um, I decided to finally make use of the knowledge point we spent on 
Um, oh my god, honestly, let me sleep to get rid of this rain. It's driving me insane. Okay, rain gone. Um, yeah, I decided to finally actually make use of the knowledge point we spent on um, drawers. Because we spent it and all we did was this for so long. And I was like, do you know what? Let's tidy the rest of it up so it's a little easier to identify. So now everything has a place um, nice and tidily. We still have our, our stuff over here. We still have little bits of random stuff down here. Oh, that doesn't actually need to be in there. Um, we still have... Ah, uh, I didn't mean to sort it necessarily. We still have random bits down here. Um, I saw how to use this earlier. Yeah. We can also make these into chests, apparently. So I think we'll try this as well. Um, just to see what we get. Um, but yeah. So everything's a little bit tidier now, which is nice. Um, this stuff is still here. Oh. It said unidentified one. We already had a water one. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, it took a lot of uh, chromatic iron, though, to do all of this. Um, so we had to actually... Uh, I'm glad we used our fortune on all the chromatic iron I mined, because now we've got plenty more. We've also got our pog progress here, which is a bit easier to see than when it was in the chest. Now we've got the numbers, so we can see how many we've got of each, and we can just put the last two in eventually. And then of course these are, these are all locked, so I can take out like all eight of these. There's none left in there, but it still shows that that's where these go. Which is the same for all of these, they're all locked and numbered, so everything's nice and easy and organized so let's get some of this wood really quickly if we just take a stack for now because we can supposedly what do this and then make an altar chest make an altar chest wooden chest wooden chest wooden chest and does this now spawn with loot no um Okay, that feels useless. Um, we'll leave that stuff there for now, I guess. Uh, and we'll put this back. Once we can get a draw controller, uh, yeah, this. So we need a pog, obviously. Um, once we can get this, though, everything will go much quicker. Because uh, we'll be able to put the draw controller there, right click it, and then everything will just go away into its exact spots. Uh, so we're still looking for 13 Leomar. Um, it would be nice. Let's put this away for a second. What were we doing quests-wise last time? Sorry, I'm a bit ditzy. Uh, bounties and rewards. Yes, yeah, so we need to finish a bounty, uh, and that's fine. One thing I was considering doing, though, was making a repair core, because this is basically dead. Uh, is it just called a core? Repair core. Okay, maybe I just didn't see it. Which needs... Volterite, Extraordinary Painite, which is 16 Painite. Do we have uh, enough Painite? Is that Painite? Yeah. So we have enough to make an Extraordinary Painite. So that's good. We then need... So we've got this bit. We need two Volt Essence. Volt Essence. There it is. Two Volt Essence. And then... We need to make Volterite ingots. So now we can come and we can make our first Volterite ingots, which then we can use to make a repair core, which then we can take to an anvil and do this and this. And now that's repaired with looting and unbreaking. Let's chuck that on. So two redstone, 12 raw cod, 27 carrots and Five granite. Redstone, carrots, granite. I don't think we have the cod. So, redstone. Uh, we need granite. Oh, and carrots, yeah. Ooh, we might not have enough granite. Oh, uh, no, I think that's enough. Carrots, plenty. Carrots, plenty. Cod, though. We don't have any. So we're going to have to quickly go into the river, maybe, and try and get some of that. Let's chuck all of this. Oh, 
I've clipped off. There we go, it's fine. Chuck all of that. So that's everything completed bar the cod. And let's see if we can go and get some cod easily. Back home, we go. Dun 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 Is it worth speeding us up? No, probably not. Because we are literally whew, close to death. Lovely. Uh, we can come over here and throw this. We can then go and put the rest of this away. Uh, shunk, shunk. Take this off, put this on. Uh, we're going to come over here. Quickly grab a chicken to eat or two. Put this away. Okay, we need one more thing. We need a, a stack of... Oh, and a stack of you. Oh, double clicking for some reason. That's fine. Um, and I think that's everything. Right? So, again, we are looking to mine 13 Leomar. Let's press the button now, then. And let's go into our vault. Nice and quick. Took a bit of a time, but it's difficult when you don't have, like, one particular thing. Three monolith vault, that's fine. I quite, I, I do like a monolith vault. Perfect, and when it loads, lovely. Off we go. Right, so we have to remember to mark, obviously, because this is a vault where we need to come back to the exit once we've found everything. One baby, that's it. Oh. I hear pillagers, which means there's a there is a um, challenge room in here somewhere. Probably down this way. Yeah, through here. You can see it on the map. If you look at the map, you can see the the room. There we go. And with our pick being as fast as it is. We can probably, before he kills us. There we go. Lovely. There's normally an easy way into these, but honestly, just quickly breaking your way in is probably going to just take less time for you. Okay, dig site here. Let's just quickly whiz through this. Perfect. Make sure we pick everything up. Bounty complete. Love that. Still need to find a monolith. We're running out of time to find one more. Ten minutes, obviously, is not running out of time. Bear that in mind. But I am a scaredy boy, and I like to have as much time as possible to achieve my goals. Oh. I think that's everyone. Oh, no, it's not. Now that's everyone. Lovely. We would like some Veniatite. Ah, uh, lovely. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, not all the time, but currently it worked out in our favour. Uh, we would like to pick this up as well. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Some of these are just empty, I think. They're just little, uh, like, Kind of like outcroppings, almost like I like to imagine it where they've moved rocks too. Oh yeah, we're still looking for also the two ores, so these two, Gorgonite and Xenium, to complete our um, to complete our what should we call it? Pog. I think that's a Scallium again. No Gorgonite or Xenium. Of course not, because why would you give us something that would be useful? Yeah, it was a scallion. Uh, that's good. Okay, nothing else goes in here? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I would like to find a chest to actually bin some of our stuff, because it looks like we've got a lot of useless stuff. Uh, come on, Gorgonite and Xenium. Gimme. We've got more bloody, um, 
of the rarest ore than we do have of the stuff to make our pogs, which is a bit nuts. Come on. Ooh, I mean, that's Ashium, I think. But it's not what we need. Um, this will be where we find, like, a legendary room that would have been great to have spent 20 minutes in or something. Like a mines room. I think that's still a thing. Where you get, like, just a huge mine. Uh, oh, well, this will do either way. This will do very nicely. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. We're mining quick. This is where our pickaxe does do us quite good because we can equip this. Uh, and then when we break blocks, oh, that's another rare ore to be fair. Uh, we need to, you know what we need to do? We need to do this and let's just put everything away. For a second uh, and now we can go real quick um, come on give me what we want come on we're getting plenty of Benia type which is good but none of oh that's a, a good one though Pins and night. Come on. Black opal. Nothing. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Six minutes. We got the rest of this room to explore. Let's go over to this one. Let's do that. Uh, do that. Come on. Uh, do that. And we go. Come on, give me the good stuff. Bomb Ignite, still good. Come on. It's still good, but it's not good enough. Oh, this is painful. Damn it. Still no decent ores. There's a dig. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Like that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give us one of them at least. <sighs> A very angry Ollie from the future here. I don't know if you spotted the mistake I made. But just keep watching. Here it comes. That right there, that pink ore we just mined, was Gorgonite. Do you know what didn't happen? It didn't go in our inventory. Do you know what we complained about not finding? Gorgonite. Do you know what we lost because we're an idiot and didn't see it? Gorgonite. <sighs> What's the time looking like? Uh, 56 seconds. I am afraid we're going to leave because 56 seconds is probably just enough time for us to get out. We didn't mark the way we came in though. Oh, shite. Shite, 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 shite. We might not make it out of this vault. We're not making it out. We're not making it out that way. Um, we didn't see the monolith, I don't think. So I think we came from this way. 20 seconds. 17. Oh, shoot. I've never heard this noise. This room? Yeah, yeah, this room. We're not making it. We're not making it. Oh, we greeted. We greeted. <sighs> it's the first time we've never made it out of a vault before. 
We've died in vaults before, but never failed so badly. We were so close as well. Like, one more... If we had had ten more seconds, we would have made it out. That's a shame. Our magnet's almost dead as well. Let's put down all of our ores, at least. Uh, with our buff, we actually get fortune five. So, we got 60 Leomar. Let's see how much Leomar that turns into with fortune five. Oh, two and a half stacks. Beniotite we had 16 of. We now have 39. Oh, this is disgustingly good. Uh, we want to put all of this away. So we've got some more Bomb Ignite, which is good. Uh, didn't get any of that. Did get some Tubium. No Sparkle Teen. Did get some Ashium. Did get a Penzonite. And then Black Opal. Lovely. So we can come over here. We can do that. 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 And that still our max is two. Let's actually see. I think we can make another knowledge essence. So we do this first. Yes, I think we can. In fact, four of you makes one of you plus that makes that. I'm trying to remember how to do it off the top of my head. Hey, another knowledge essence. Oh, and we can come into the book and we can complete this. Acquire a tool station. Oh my god, that was a lot of stuff we've just picked up there. Oh, and we broke another block. Oh my god. Uh, put those in there. So we've done the tool station. Uh, vault tools. Craft a chromatic iron pick. We can do that just for the sake of the thing, right? put all of this back in. Christ, it just exploded out. Um, so two driftwood, nine iron. There we go. Let's just, for the sake of the quest, craft a chromatic iron pick. Just to kind of blitz through some of these a little bit. Apply a jewel to a vault tool. So, I've been thinking recently, I saw someone well, when I, saw, when I say someone, I mean the the actual creator of this mod pack doing... Oh, that's really good. Uh, actually using uh, the affinities. Um, and I didn't realise how good they were. 70. So we couldn't do these three. Wood affinity that we could do. Um, and actually uh, using them on tools. Because apparently they work different to how I remember them working. So let's take all of these and let's apply them. Oh, wait. On it. This one is a size 10. So now this one can mine ornate chests. We need another. We need another um, anvil. Do we have a spare? Because it fully breaks them. Anvil, yeah, we do. We have a couple damaged ones. That's fine. Um, and it actually looks quite useful. So I might make a pick just for breaking the chests. At which point it kind of means this pick is useless, but we'll see. For now, oh, uh, do that. Then we come over here and we'll give it efficiency. Uh, what are we missing? Emeralds. Oh, okay. But we might do this off camera. Uh, make this into a really good um, pick for digging chests and stuff. So what are we missing right now? We've got ornate, living, gilded, wooden. Technically all we're missing is the coin affinity. Um, which I just don't think we have right now. So I'll leave this in here. But that completes this. Now, this one is talking about expertise, which we talked about in the last episode, which I did state you get one every five levels. So, makes sense. So we can complete that. This one now says acquire a vault forge, which is this one. Lovely. Just trying to catch us up on the quests a little bit, because we know what we're doing with some of these. Um, so we put that back down. God damn. 
give this thing all of its stuff back. Uh, keep that for now. Yeah. Um, so acquire a vault forge, lovely. Forge a magnet, which is great, because we were just saying how we kind of wanted another magnet anyway. So we need one netherite ingot, that's fine. We can do that, because I think ours is at, yeah, 4%. Netherite ingot. We got a couple from that last vault already, so feeling good. Uh, we can come and craft this at level 15. Perfect. So it makes us 0.1% proficient with them. Perfect. So we can roll this to see what we get. We might get something half good. Okay, we get a normal magnet. That's fine. Um, compared to our other magnet, though, it has insane durability. Um, it has better range, better velocity, and it has a prefix on it with better reach. So, who could be mad at that? Uh, it's actually just overall a better magnet. Perfect. So now it wants us to acquire an artisan table. So basically going through all of these, which we already have. Uh, so we can put this back down. And we can say we know what our sand table is. So now re-roll a gear piece with a wild focus. So we could re-roll our magnet. Plus two range. Oh, so that's really good. That was actually better than what it was. Because it was like plus point something. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That's more range. I see. Oh, okay, that's really good, actually. So that gives us a total of 5.6 range which is really good. So we can actually probably just come in here, take this off, put this on. Um, perfect. Scrapping gear, because let's go and scrap this old magnet now. Let's put this down. Let's grab our scrapper and scrap this boy for nothing. Perfect. Uh, so we've got the scrapper, craft a plain burger. Ugh. God damn our idiocy. If only we weren't so god damn dumb. Uh, we might have held on to that for a second. Um, but that's fine. Let's put our... So you can put the money down. Let's put our gold here. And our one platinum. Which I can't remember how much gold that turns into. Nine gold. Oh uh, well let's... I didn't realise it was only nine. Let's just do that. Uh, we can put our money back in here. Uh, we can put these back into here. Uh, that can go away. And then the gems can go away. Right, so this is what we needed, unfortunately. Um, we can't make a burger currently, which is a bit annoying. Uh, then it's to get to level 10, which we've done. Then it's to run an elixir vault, which we can do, that's fine. God altars, we kind of know about black market goods, we kind of know about n using knowledge. We've got one to spend. We've got a lot of stuff to spend. So let's have a look at the expertise again, now that we've actually got to this point. I don't know what's better. So when applying a normal catalyst, we haven't done the catalyst stuff right now. Gain a resistance to crystal instability when modifying. We haven't mod really modified them yet. Gain a chance not to consume or use your trinkets when entering a vault. I don't know what trinkets are. Divine. Gain a base level of affinity for all gods. Right. We've not done anything with the gods yet. Unbreakable. Passively adds a chance not of losing durability on your gear. Meh. Cost reduction. Meh. Artisan, gain a chance not to consume crafting uh, potential when re-rolling vault gear. Eh. This one's quite nice. Get 500% vanilla experience. This one is also quite nice. Gain a chance to have a lucky roll where uh, is crystal cost is lowered by 90%. And this one is very good. Because at level 3, you get to have two... Um, two bounties active. So the bounty wait period talks about this one, where it's going to take an hour and four, like two hours, I think, to re-roll. 
Whereas if we took this skill, it would only take 30 minutes. Then there's the reduce the abandon penalty to 30 minutes as well. And then this one, which is quite good. So I think it's between these two currently. Um, I lean quite heavily towards the experience game. Because 500% experience is pretty good. Um, let's get some food while we, we think about this. Um, like having that much experience would be quite nice coming in. We also though have two points to spend which we could spend on stone skin. Your skin hardens gain extra knockback resistance when above 80% health. Eh, it's okay. Witchery, on the other hand, gain extra souls while killing mobs with full mana is pretty good because we would get a fair few extra souls. We could do 40%. Um, we're not really using the potions that much, so I'm not looking at those right now. Increase your damage again. Quite good, but eh. um, part of me thinks two points here because our heal's quite good for now. Um, and I don't think there's anything besides putting one into heal and one into dash, for example, which would give us a cooldown of 12 seconds, mana cost slightly more, but distance would be like again add another one and this would be cooldown of nine seconds heal i think let's take that and let's take the dash i like dash um and we're using it a little bit more to get around in vaults as well what was that noise the hell was that noise? I have no idea. What is this thing that's like gliding around over here? It's probably a bat underground, isn't it? That's fine then. Um, ow. Uh, and we've still got... So we do have actually... Ooh, uh, one thing that I did want to do was possibly look at pouches. Um... The ability to craft and pick up upgrades. Yeah, I think we wanted an upgrade into pouches, right? Because we're far off from anything else right now. Besides colossal chests, which uh, I don't think there's a need for. Um, these stuff, like pipes, pointless for us for now. Dark utilities. Uh, utilities for mob farming, moving entities, and if they're pointless, kind of. Uh, we don't have enough, don't have enough, don't have enough. Easy villagers, snad, pointless. Uh, easy, pointless, pointless, this we can't do, elevators would be nice, compasses are nice, but realistically we just use our block system anyway, trash cans are pointless, torch mod would be nice, but meh, waystones, we don't really travel to different places, flux pointless, power pointless, iron generators, again, we'll need them for Effie at some point, but not necessarily right now, so I think pouches would be really nice, it's going to cost three to get our next pouch which is very costly. But now we can make pouches, which if I look uh, at how, oh, how, what mod is this under? Sophisticated backpacks, oh, okay. Okay, right. So we can currently make these ones. I don't think we can make the double, right? Because the double is uh, double pouches, yeah. So we can currently make the normal pouches, though, these little ones, which needs a bundle, which needs two rabbit hides and some magic. Oh, talking of rabbit hides, I don't even know if I did this on camera. I finally went and found rabbits and I found a gold one. So it's very cool. Um, but let's see if we can make ourselves one of these. So. We're just going to make... Oh, we can make a blue one. Oh, we dye it afterwards. That's fine. Okay. So let's for now make this, which needs this. Magic silk block. Perfect layer mark. That was very easy to make. And then we should be able to make you, which now these can have upgrades. So it can have two. And I think you can filter it. 
player. Yeah, there's so many options. Uh, sort, remember items. So we can. What we can do is makes the backpack pick up items. Makes the backpack pick up items has more filtering options. Oh, okay. So making stuff like this would be useful. Two vault diamonds will allow us to make the base upgrade. Right. So now if we go B, we can put this here. And now we can filter pick up. Oh, so we can block things or match backpacks content. Perfect. Okay. So we'll just do match backpacks content, which is good, I think. But let's see about doing the advanced one. What would we need? Two gold block. Well, let's not do that yet then. Let's instead get the stack upgrade one, which is two diamonds and... Sorry about that. Uh, two diamonds and then two perfect Leomar again. So we can make this one. And we know we definitely just want to straight up upgrade that into... Oh my god, okay. That is a fair bit of our layer marble, but that's fine. Uh, we do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do that. We need two of those. Right. Then we need two, four chromatic steel blocks. Oof. But this will benefit us in the long run. Uh, do that. Then we're just missing two vault diamonds. And that will then make us the better one. Oh, requires double pouches. Shit. That's annoying. Okay, well, that's fine. So I'm imagining requires research belts. Oh, I see. So we can only do what we've done right now then. Because we need otherwise double belts. I see, okay. So for now then, we can at least do pickup upgrade and this. On the pickup upgrade, we can say match backpacks content. Then on the backpack settings, what we need to do is we need to put away all of our stuff first. Let's put away all of our stuff. Right, yep, yeah, that's good. And then we're going to put the things that we want the backpack to only pick up in our inventory. Then we're going to put it into the backpack and then see how that works. So, but now it all goes into the slots, which is perfect. Okay. Well, that feels really good. Um, and I think you can have multiple on you. So we can put this one on our back. And we can use this one, I guess, for other things. Sure. Um, for now, let's leave it. Um, because to use it properly, I'd need to make the mods for it. Oh, our boots broke. Oh, we need new boots. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure 10, 10, 10, 12. Right. Common, rare. These are probably the best ones. We could maybe re roll them though. Uh, add new modifier. There you go, plus two. At least that's a bit better. Uh, and we, could, we should really enchant them, but they're not like keeper boots necessarily. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, we can, if we throw this on the floor, it goes into the bag, and then all we do is we press B, and then we can get it all out. And then we can put it all away. Beautiful. Uh, okay, nuggets. Uh, put that away, that away, that away, that away, one of those, one of those, one of those. Uh, 
uh, one of those. Then one of each of those. And now we'll pick up stuff so much easier. In fact, I could do with adding uh, silver and copper in there as well. Let's do uh, copper, silver. There we go. Now, if we go B, we can take these out, and at least then they'll also go in there, which is going to save us so much time in uh, emptying our stuff constantly into the shulkers. Because now we can hold what? Yeah, so 128 of all of these items before it's going to start to clutter our inventory, which is so good. For now, Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's maybe a bit of a scattered one, and we've kind of done little bits everywhere, but we're kind of trying to get to maybe around here in the the actual overview um, so that then we can start to look at things that we've never done before, like spirit extractor, infused catalysts, uh, storing gear, all sorts of this stuff. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.